I'm out for a run when someone rather aggressively bikes by me, stops in front of me, and starts barking. This is exactly what he said. I was about to hit you. You're taking up the whole fucking sidewalk. How do you deal with barking dogs? Do you bark back at a barking dog? Of course you don't. It's not the dog's fault that it's barking at you. Perhaps it's how the dog was raised or maybe the dog's having a bad day. Barking back at a dog only makes the dog more aggressive and makes the dog bark even louder. Fortunately, several years ago, I downloaded the Chris Voss EQ update and was able to apply it in this situation to calm down the barking dog. This is exactly what I did. Dog starts barking, I do nothing. I pause for two seconds. The simple act of pausing for two seconds turns the volume down in your head, makes you less reactionary. This requires you to practice self-regulating your emotions. It's a simple concept, but not so easy in the heat of the moment. Next, I said this. I'm sorry, the whole sidewalk? With a slight uptone as if to say, tell me more. Chris Voss calls this mirroring, and it's a magical technique to make other people feel heard. The dog kept barking, but not as loud. And then I said this. You sound like the kind of guy who's always looking out for people. Chris Voss calls this labeling. You're positively labeling an attribute of the other person. You're casting them into a role. And guess what happened when I said that? The dog stopped barking, turned into a friendly dog. We had a lovely conversation. There's a good takeaway here. Knowing what to say to calm down barking dogs is a superpower for getting through to anyone in your personal and business life. But you can't do that unless you do more than read Chris Voss's stuff. You have to actually do Chris Voss's stuff. Practice it on a daily basis. Consuming the information isn't gonna help you with barking dogs. Doing and getting your reps in is.